Hello, in this session we will talk about business intelligence component querying and reporting. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. From the previous sessions we understand that a business intelligence software could be used with applications and could also be used with data warehouses to extract useful information that would help management make decisions. Now a company can do mix and match, they can go for applications, database vendor and business intelligence software from different vendors or they can go for more of an integrated solution. Typically a business intelligence software would include these components. ETL we have talked about in the previous session and in this session we'll talk about query and reporting. When we use the term querying and reporting we are talking about this process here consisting of three steps querying, formatting and distribution. By querying we mean retrieving data from the database. This database could be an online transaction processing database known as OLTP or this could be online analytical processing database. Once useful data has been retrieved from the database using the first step then we need to format the data for better readability and we need to make the data ready for analysis. So that is step two formatting. Once the final result is ready, it needs to be distributed to the users and that is step three, distribution to the users. Strictly speaking, step two and step three would come under reporting. Sometimes reporting term is used for both the steps, sometimes it's used only for formatting and sometimes only for distribution, but for all practical purposes both the steps would come under reporting and querying is referred to as querying. So querying and reporting are covered usually under a component which is part of a business intelligence suite. There are so many tools out there in the market that offers just the querying and reporting functionality. Due to the abundance of such tools sometimes the term querying and reporting is used interchangeably with the term business intelligence. However, keep in mind, strictly speaking, business intelligence software would include more than just querying and reporting. It would include other components as well. Now, the querying and reporting tool would go against either online transaction processing database or online analytical processing database as we have already discussed. So technically both sources would work, it all depends on the business requirements. Now let's talk about production reports and business reports. Keep in mind that business intelligence software is not something a company would be using to handle their day-to-day -day operations like managing suppliers, managing customers, managing accounting and so on. To manage day-to-day -day operations, a company would use an application like ERP Enterprise Resource Planning for example and this is where production reports would come from. So production reports will come from the software that is used to handle operations and business reports will come from the software that is handling your business intelligence. So production reports and business reports are two different reports. Let's talk about the details of the two reports so that we understand what each of this means. So production reports come from the application that is handling the day-to-day -day operations like ERP. So production reports are being produced from OLTP system, online transaction processing system, and business reports could be produced from either OLTP system or from the warehouse. It all depends on the requirement. Since these reports are coming out of bus business intelligence software, therefore it could be displaying data from either of the two kind of systems. Keep in mind that production reports are either authored or created by the programmers using programming language or they are seeded out of the box reports from the ERP software or any other application that the company is using. While business reports are created by the business users, they do not have to know the programming because no programming is required to create these users and this is the value that is provided by the business intelligence software. So if a company is producing production reports in-house then the authors are really few in number. There are few programmers creating reports while in case of business reports there could be hundreds of authors 
because each person can create their own report. So this brings us to the next point, the scope. The report produced by the programmers is intended to be used department-wide or company-wide or even project-wide. So this is not really a typically a report designed for one or two people. While in case of business reports, a person can decide to create its, his own report just for his own purpose. So this is again a big difference between the two kind of reports. Obviously, this has a lot to do with the cost involved. One report would be produced in few days by the programmer, while in few minutes a power user can produce a business report. Production reports are used by the staff of the company who are handling day-to-day -day operations. Payable clerks would be using payable reports, receivable clerks would be using receivable reports, financial department would be using GL reports, general ledger reports and so on. There are reports that are produced from the ERP systems or these operational systems that would be read by the management to make decisions. However, business reports that are produced from the business intelligence systems are solely targeted towards the decision makers. So decision makers are producing reports for themselves based on their changing needs without involving IT department on day-to-day -day basis. So the audience or the users of production reports are hundreds in numbers and so could be the audience of business reports. So this brings us to the point of purpose. The purpose of operation production reports is to assist in operations and regulatory requirements. For example, you might want to produce a report for all the journal entries that were entered in a particular period. You might want to produce a report on how much taxes we have paid and so on. And the purpose of business reports are totally different. The purpose is to assist decision makers in decision making. Production reports are usually printed on the printer. Hard copy is the word for production reports and sometimes they have to be stored the copies have to be stored due to regulatory requirements for seven years or ten years and so on. And business reports are not usually printed. They are usually seen on the screen and analyzed on the screen and maybe somebody might want to have that emailed to their inbox. That options are there for production reports as well but main delivery method for production reports is the printing. Production reports are usually burst to hundreds of users. Business reports are usually produced for an individual, so bursting will not be in the picture. However, keep in mind exceptions are there always. This is the general trend that we are talking. Exceptions are there for each point. Level of details are is another difference between the two kind of reports. Business reports usually give you summarized amounts and production reports give you the detail level information. Keep in mind business reports are targeted towards the decision makers and they are not really interested in for example who purchased the laptop in department 10 in February. They are more interested in what was the total do dollar amount spent on laptops in the whole department or in the whole company for example. Production reports are tuned to produce pixel perfect quality. No matter on which printer you send these reports, ideally the output should pretty much look the same. But business reports are not really optimized for the printer. They are more optimized for the screen display. Again, exceptions are there, but typically production reports are not interactive. You can't really click on numbers to drill down. But business reports are usually interactive. This example is from SAP World. Crystal Reports, for example, is a tool that would typically produce production reports. And Web Intelligence Reports is a tool that would produce business reports. Both are part of Business Objects, which is business intelligence software from SAP. Crystal Reports is a very popular product which was acquired by Business Objects. However, it is used standalone as well in different companies to produce production reports but this is part of business intelligence suite that SAP offers as 
SAP business objects. So this is a summary of what we have discussed about production reports and business reports. Keep in mind right now we are talking generally about business intelligence. In coming sessions our focus will go more towards SAP business objects.